Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be working with the Happy Plaid stamp set by Concord 9th, and I'm going to be making a bulk card panel, or I'm going to be making some card panels in bulk. I stopped at three, but you can really just keep going until you get all of the cards done that you need to send out for Christmas. I'm going to be using my full size Misty, and I see the question asked a lot if you really need a full size Misty and not just the mini Misty. My personal experience and from uh, and just my personal advice is that it's always a good idea to have a full size. This stamp set won't really work in the mini Misty, especially the way that I'm going to use it today with just moving the cardstock around. I do it in a way where I place the stamp and I'll move the cardstock around and I don't have to remove the stamp and replace it at any point. So I do all three of my cards with the same stamp placed in the same spot. So I'm not taking my stamp off at any point and replacing it back on my Misty. And that's really a nice feature of having the full size Misty. So I'm going to line up this triple line from the plaid stamp set. I'm going to line it up right in the center of my card front. And for my first card, I'm using a red piece of 100 pound cardstock. And I've decided for the red cardstock that I'm going to do the entire plaid pattern in black. And I've decided to use Versafine Onyx Black Ink. You can see that I turned my cardstock 90 degrees, so it's now in a landscape orientation or horizontal. And I'm again going ahead and stamping the same stamp now that way, and we have this fun plaid pattern. I'm really going to speed things up now while I do my other two card fronts. For the second card front, I'm going to be using Green Tea by Katherine Pooler, and I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did with the red cardstock. It's really nice to be able to just keep your stamp on your Misty. So I have not taken this stamp off yet and I won't until I'm fully done with it. So it's really nice to use this method when you're making bulk cards because it's very easy to make each card individual and different with very minimal effort. For the third and final card that I'll be doing today, I use Something Borrowed by Katherine Pooler. And this card is going to be slightly different than the other two in a couple different ways, and I'll get to that a little bit later on. It involves a little bit more effort, but also a little bit less effort. <laughs> so if you're intrigued, keep watching. So here is that blue pattern, the green pattern, and the black pattern on the red cardstock. So I'm now going to use that single patterned line here that's now all the way on the right. And this is designed to fit in between where you have stamped those original three lined stamp patterns. Uh, so you can see here I'm lining it up right in between. And I'm going to, again, make this go a little bit quickly because it's very redundant. But I do the same thing where I line it up and now I'm just going to keep it in that same spot. Again, with this card, again, I'm using just Versafine Onyx Black Ink. But in a minute, I'll show you that I do switch it up a little bit. So you'll be able to see a little bit more of the pattern in a moment. But you can see the really cool sort of like cross look that you get from the plaid and I will link the video from Concord 9th in the description because it gives a really good description of how to use these stamps. For my cardstock that I used with the green tea ink, I'm going to use Rockin' Red for my single line and to be honest, my Rockin' Red ink pad needs to be refilled, so this isn't as vibrant as it was supposed to be, but I wanted to just continue with the video rather than waiting and going and refilling it, even though I probably should have. So uh, you'll notice that I did not go in with that single line stamp with my blue card front, and I'm going to leave that one a little bit more simple. For this final stamp for the pattern, I'm going to use the double solid line. These lines are very fine and they are designed to fit right in between that first three 
bar or three pattern line stamp. So I know this is very confusing, but like I said before, the Concord 9th video is linked in the description and it gives a really good breakdown of how to use this, but I know that it's a little bit confusing. So again, I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink for my red cardstock and for my green plaid pattern, my green slash red plaid pattern, I'm keeping the red, but I'm going with Peppermint Scrub by Katherine Pooler, which is a much deeper sort of muted red. I really love the different looks that I'm getting with these card fronts. And again, it's very minimal effort just to switch up some ink colors. For my blue pattern, I'm using the two solid lines and I'm going to stamp them in Versa, I'm sorry, Versamark ink and I will be embossing them in silver. I love the way that this ends up looking. I have a couple scarves that have the plaid pattern and sometimes there's like a metallic thread and I always think it looks so pretty. So I thought that it really livened up this card front. So once I'm done embossing that, I'm going to trim down my card front. I've decided that I want a pretty thick border for all of these. So I'm going to cut it down to three and three quarters by five inches. The card front was originally trimmed down to four by five and a quarter inches. And because I've already lined up my pattern, I want it to stay centered. So I'm going to take an eighth of an inch off of each side. And this way it will be the size that I want it, three and three quarters by five inches, but it will still be centered. If I took the full quarter inch off of one side, it would look a little bit not centered and that would just bother me a little bit. So I decided to just make it an easy fix. So here are my card fronts and here is what I have done with them. I just added some really easy and simple sentiments and it ended up being really beautiful, really individual. And I was able to get three cards done in really no time. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. As always, all of the products are listed in the description and my blog post over on Butterfly Reflections Inc. is also linked there with more information on the products and all of the sentiments that I decided to use on the card fronts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.